Glumstone, Glumstone, Glumstone. It's funny, when I first started playing the DLC, I thought Glumstone was one of the harder bosses on the island, but he's a pushover once you learn some of his tricks. Right now, I think he's one of the easiest of the new bosses to S rank. For charm, I always recommend bringing in Miss Chalice, not just because she gets an extra life, but because her double jump is very useful in the final phase. If you'd rather stick to using Cuphead or Mugman, I'd recommend using Smoke Bomb because of all the projectiles in this boss fight. If you keep finding yourself taking damage, then just take the heart ring. There's no shame in taking the heart ring. For weapons, both the crack shot and the twist up are very good here. Roundabout and charge shot are also very solid. Do not take the lobber. The first phase can feel overwhelming if it's your first time playing on expert mode, but it's not that much harder, I promise. He'll alternate through a few phases. The most common is the bad breath cloud one. He stretches his mouth all the way down and the little gnomes will shoot clouds at you. This is the best phase to do damage because his hitbox will now extend all the way down to the bottom of the screen, meaning it's much easier to hit him from further away. The parries here are also incredibly easy to get, especially as Miss Chalice. You definitely want to get three parries here if you can. The other parries in this level are hard to get for sure, and it's best to just get this out of the way so you don't have to worry about it later. The next attack is the geese. When he honks his horn, I like to move to the right or left side, whichever is closer, then drop down and walk from one side of the map to the other while shooting. If you're moving from right to left, like away from him, use the crack shot to ensure you're always doing damage. If you move from left to right, you can be greedy and swap to twist up around halfway through so that your bullets are hitting him from underneath. But Justo, uh, why don't you just duck on a platform? I don't know why so many people suggest this to me. The problem with ducking on the platforms during this phase is that it's completely luck dependent. The platforms can move up or down without any warning, so it's really risky to stay crouched on a platform like this. I just find it safer to walk on the bottom. Finally, the bear phase. So if you get the bear phase early, you might still have the right most platform. If so, you can just stand there and be completely fine. Most likely that platform is already gone by then, so you want to use the second furthest platform to the right. What you can do is walk right up to the edge, like your right foot should be off the edge completely, then weapon lock and shoot diagonally upwards into Glumstone's face. If you did this correctly, the bear won't be able to touch you, and you get a lot of free damage. If you are very unlucky and both the right both platforms are gone, what you need to do is walk all the way to the right and then jump, dash, and EX. If you did this right, the gnome spikes will have disappeared by then and you can jump back onto a platform. This is a bit of a dangerous maneuver, but if the platforms are gone, you don't have too many options. Oh, just want to add, if you took smoke bomb, you can smoke bomb through the bear if you want to, but then you're not really doing damage to the boss, so I don't really recommend doing this if you can avoid it. For phase 2, I hope you're clenching your butt, because you're probably going to need it. The big thing to keep track of is the position of the hands. If both hands are about the same height, that means the ball is going to bounce in the middle, so you want to stay near the edges of the map. If one hand is higher than the other, that means the ball will bounce further away from it. You need to constantly keep track of the relative height of the hands and think about where the safe spot is. Remember to always keep moving regardless because puppets will continuously spawn under you and jump towards you. With all the puppets and balls flying around in his face, I recommend you stay on the ground as much as possible and only jump when it's safe. Twist up really shines here, as you can hit the hands without needing to jump or even aim. Don't forget you can only hurt the puppets, not the forearms, so weapons like spread and lobber require a bit more finesse if you chose to take them for whatever reason. If the coast is clear, try to use a super here if you can. Both Cuphead and Chalice Super 1 works well, but Chalice Super 3 is also solid since it hits both hands at once. Just be careful you don't get nicked by a gnome or something right when the super ends. Finally, Phase 3, my most favorite phase in all of the DLC, and possibly the entire game. The setup is simple. The disgusting man ulcer will spit meat and bones. The meat will destroy a platform, or a bone will change a platform into a parryable target. If you parry that platform, it'll reset all the other platforms, so all you have to do is keep jumping from platform to platform while dodging the meat, the bones, and any darts the gnomes shoot at. Easy. So one thing you definitely want to be careful of if you're using Cuphead or Mugman is the worst case situation. What is that? 
That is when you're on the platform on the furthest left or right and the Pariable platform is all the way on the other side. It's very difficult to make that jump from one side of the screen to the other unless you're lucky enough to have a pink dart spawn. What you need to do is try to stay in the middle of the screen as much as possible while maximizing your chances of being close to the Pariable platform when it spawns. That means sticking to the side that has more platforms on it instead of staying near the edges. People keep saying twist up is good here, and I think it's alright, but it requires you to be near the edges of the screen to do good damage. However, I just use the crack shot and it works just fine for me. Just be sure to shoot up when the boss is right above you to maximize your damage. So what do you think? Have you S-ranked Clumstone yet? Let me know in the comments below.